Greetings everyone, this is Mr. Skills here. Um, this video is basically going to talk about um, why this Dragon Ball Z sprite animation project is going to take some time. Um, reason why is uh, I'm actually having uh, fellow Flash sprite animators that are willing to be on board on this as uh, well as uh, voice actors who's also going to lend me their talented uh, voices to play the characters in this. And I also have a uh, uh, few music artists who's willing to let me use their beats on this project too. So I can't thank them enough to, you know, help me out and allow me to use their uh, their media to make this project happen. But um, I'm just going to go over a few things. This video is really basically for my animators and voice actors who you know willing to watch this because I'm going to go over a few specs of uh, what I'm looking for in this um, particular project. Uh, it's not going to be long, you know, it's going. I'm just going to drop down the basics and give you the specs and... Uh, what I need, um, what I'm looking forward to be done to set up the dialogue to go along with it, because um, I'm gonna have like a uh, this is a little system that um, we're gonna have. But when it comes down to fighting, um, you guys have complete freedom to go crazy with this. You know, um, I'm putting together all the files. I'm I'm writing this whole thing out, and um, I just want to make sure um, their job is easy. That way, once they feel like they could uh, jump on the scene. They could just, you know, follow the little basic steps and okay, he wants this line up and boom, boom, boom. Then when it comes to the fight scene, they could, the animators could do whatever they want. Like, I'm looking for some epic battle on this. Um, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna be working with uh, high uh, HD sprites too. And there's a certain style I'm looking for when it comes down to sprites. Um, I'm searching all over the web to find the best sprites to work with in this project and. Um, um, there's gonna be a few lot. It's gonna be a decent amount of characters. I'm not gonna use all of them, you know. I just want to make this little basic and simple uh, um, collab, but at the same time, it has like a, a decent storyline to go with it. Um, also, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let y'all know, you know, when it comes down to animation, I'm not taking anybody's uh, creativity away on this. You know, it just is. It's a certain style that I see a lot out there that people kind of like you know, making repetitive when it comes to Dragon Ball Z uh, sprite animation. I'm not knock, I'm not trying to knock anybody's style down though, but I just want to try to make this project as different as possible, you know what I mean? Like, you can put your own flair to it, I'm not knocking that, but sometimes like when people do the Dragon Ball Z uh, sprite animation, they seem to follow the formula of the animation. It's cool and all, but like, I want to try to break that style, you know, they'll have like uh, five frames of each character repeating, you know, and then that drags on, you know, I, I can see that for like five seconds, but like, don't let that carry on throughout the whole scene. I'm looking for the, I'm looking for that creativity, you know, like put your best into this and make this joint happen, you know, it's like break out of that, you know, traditional way to how they do uh, Dragon Ball Z sprite animations. Um, if you're so used to, and this goes for my animators, if you are uh, so used to using that low quality sprite, you know, this is a way to break out of it, you know what I mean? Because these sprites, they are so HD and it's like, it kind of teaches more in depth in Flash animation. For me, it did, you know, that's why I enjoy working um, with HD sprites and everything. But um, basically, you know, I'm just going to let y'all know, um, show this. Um, break this down to you that way no one no, none of the animators is feeling overwhelmed of uh, working on this project so it's my job to make your job even easier you know that way if, you know if you feel like this is too much and you want to back out of this project that's fine you know I understand that this is this is um what I feel bad is that this is not a paying project but I'm, I'm I, I will love to pay my animators and voice actors, you know, all the same amount. You know, I know some anime, some of my voice actors have more lines than others, but I'm, I want to like, you know, try to help you all out because I understand that, you know, everybody's going through some things, you know, um, everybody going through their personal lives and stuff. So I feel bad about it. Um, some of you have contacted me, let me know what was up. You know, yeah, computer issues, family issues, and stuff like that. I understand that. I get that. You know, I don't expect nobody. To stop what they're doing, to just say, "Hey, uh, I'm just gonna stop what I'm doing and work on this project." Now, I don't, I don't, I don't want nobody to go through that. So that's why I said that this is a, uh, at the moment, this is no time limit, uh, deadline type of project. You know, this is something that if you're already working on something and you're like, "Oh, 
you know, I feel kind of bored working on my project, you know, let me just jump on something else. This is one you could just jump on, like, yeah, let me just jump on the, you know, freezes project or whatever. Um, so there's no deadline as of now because there's a lot, a lot I have to do for this. I have to write out a lot of lines for the characters and the first thing is that what I'm trying to do is once I get this entire storyline, you know, completed, I can pass the lines down to my voice actors. That way they can knock out, knock out all the voices that is needed for this project to happen. But once that I have that in hand and all that, uh, you know, everything all set and lined up and ready to go, I can pass those lines to my animators. And as well as the script I have, I'll let y'all know like, hey, this scene, uh, such and such is uh, um, talking. And, um, you know, and then this scene, such and such is talking. And after that, they'll just uh, have a little fight scene. It's going to be really basic and simple. Each character is also going to have like this little profile shot, as you can see here. This is going to be different. I'm going to change this. This is not the final scene. I'm just going to give you a little basic of of how I'm gonna uh, how I'm how I'm gonna drop things down when it comes to my scene because each anime is gonna have their own particular scene they wish to animate to. Um, I'm gonna be in charge of the final fight. I'm gonna I'm not trying to spoil anything for y'all, but I'm gonna drop the uh, the heavy duty battle with uh, with uh, Goku and Freeza. I'm gonna let you know that's that's a little spoiler right there. This is basically like why I'm going why I'm going with this is that after all the storyline and everything. Freezer and uh, 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 Vegeta and Goku are gonna rock. This is gonna be the final showdown between them. So I'm gonna do the final line. But what I'm doing is, what I'm also having in mind is, once I write out everything, have everything completed, uh, if I have a scene done early ahead of time and um, the voice actors happen to have that scene completed, I'll pass it on to one of our animators. I'm not gonna, you know, let y'all wait for me to get like. You know my scene already written and recorded and everything before you know everybody start doing anything now if this is a scene that you know hey i got this whole scene and all the voices is done for the scene i'll pass it along to y'all you know what i mean so y'all could get a head start on um, working on your part whatever but um yeah there's another reason why i'm putting this together because I'm, I'm like i said i'm searching the web uh i'm searching all over to find the best sprites that will work perfect for this project so um, I'm also getting the, the the little profiles together. I'm gonna have like a this this may not be this may change too. I'm gonna have everybody have their own particular you know um, profile bar too to go along with go along with the text. Um, so um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna have the voice actors. There's a few voice actors I already worked with in the past uh, my past project called Jungle Hunt. So that I, oh man, they did an excellent job and they are actually coming back to help me out on this one. So. Um, not to hold y'all up sometimes i'm sorry to go on the rant but i just want to you know make sure i get you know the basics clear well why this is going to take some time to do so um right now i'm, I'm gonna have a, a default file for everybody if they uh they wish to know the specs and everything um the, the size is um uh, it's going to be 720 width by 400 height and we're going to be working in um, 30 frames per second um, I'm gonna have a folder for um, each scene. Like, let's say, for example, if um, if uh, I'm gonna have a scene that says Earth, and the folder itself is gonna say Earth, and flash file is gonna be says Earth. This helps me put everything together. Like, okay, such and such worked on on the Earth scene, so it'll help me once everybody has their uh, scenes together and all the um, files together, they pass it along to me. I can put everything in order perfectly you know what i mean the way i see it so um right now the, the scene itself is going to be just the project um default project is probably going to say like freezes wish or something you can easily change that on your final say uh um earth or whatever i may also do that for y'all because um i'm going to have everything set up for you um i'm going to also have all the sprite characters put together for you it's, um they, they're going to have the wave files also there's going to be a wave file folder there's also going to be a, um, a sprite folder, and there's going to be different versions of that particular character in there too. Like, for example, let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. Uh, let's see, sprite characters. Here we go. Um, let's say, for example, let me take Goku for example. Okay, let's say if um, you happen to have uh, a scene that contains Goku, um, the the folder itself will have Goku normal. That way, you have all. You know the normal version of Goku, 
Um, I have also the red hair version of Goku too. If he needs to transform on one particular part, like hey, um, uh, you know, you go, uh, you go, you uh, you may follow my uh, my script on this one, but when it comes down to fights, you could you have freedom with the transformation. You know what I mean? But um, let's see. At the end, um, may take out the the God version. The God version of Goku, I may save for last. I'm not sure on that one yet. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if I want y'all to work with this one yet. Um, it's gonna have uh, the sound effects also. It's gonna contain all the sound effects, you know, the swings, the punches, and stuff like that. Um, as far as the sound effects goes, please do not use the Japanese voices like uh, sound, like that and all that, the grunts. Do not use that. I'm gonna have the voice actors probably uh, sound out the sound effects, the hits and blows and stuff like that. There's may gonna be um. Oh, it may be a one long way file for that, so it'd be easy to just edit, you know, or crop the way file what he want um, the, the sound to be, like the category is heard. You just crop one second, uh, something like that, you know what I mean? Maybe have one stream of it. So please do not use the uh, the Japanese version uh, hits for them, you know what I mean? So don't use that. I, I don't like that. Um, yeah, each, each, um, each scene is gonna have to uh, contain the characters folders. I'm not gonna import the sprites into Flash because I'm not sure how big your you, your RAM, your computer could be handled handle all that. You know what I mean? There's a limit. There's a there's a, um, a meg limit for Flash. So I'm not gonna you know uh, you know take up all that RAM. The the folders of the sprites is gonna be in their own separate folder. That way you can just easily go into the folder itself and use what you need to use. For that particular character so you don't have to use all this you know that's that's too much so it, um the folder is also going to have the scripts you know for the characters and i'm going to have it in order saying okay uh goku's going to say this line and then you could say i'm going to have uh enemy say this line then then what you do is you'll basically just you know line everything up and uh, have the wave file stream on the uh, frame itself which i'll show you in a second so what I have right now is the, um, the basic folder. Uh, let's say I'm just playing a card. I might change that a little. But the folder is gonna contain everything. If you you can set up any way how you want it. I just want to let y'all know. Like I like to have a clean library if y'all can y'all can do it. So the um, the library is gonna be all set up nice and neat for you. You know that way it's not too much. That one basic folder says Earth, and inside that folder it will it will contain the backgrounds, all the backgrounds as needed for your particular scene. It's gonna contain the characters, um, for the for the characters that play in that particular scene. You know, it's gonna have a characters folder. Uh, extras is, uh, I guess, you could throw up your extra bitmaps and you know whatever you have extra, you could throw that in that folder. It's gonna have a a sound effect folder and it's also gonna have the special effects folder. So that way you can everything, keep everything nice and neat, and it's not your your library ain't gonna be too messy. You know what I mean? So. It, I'm um, trying to keep it organized for y'all. That way, everything's really basic and simple. And if you want, have them make a, a movie clip folder. That's fine too. You know, that way everything is, you know, nice and neat for you. And if if I happen to find any errors in your in your in your uh, scene, I could easily go back and you know touch up a bit if I, if need be. But I have faith in y'all. You know what I mean? Um, the scene is also going to contain the uh, the V cam as well. You know, everybody's going to have the V cam. It's going to be there. Also, this skill skip intro. I'm also is also going to have a, a a skip a skip file in here too, which is going to be on the side. This way, it's easy for you to check a scene, you know, a frame without publishing the whole movie, and you have to wait for the for the to get to that particular frame just to see if you're done right. But um, what you basically do, you just double click and it. it's basically a movie clip itself. You know, so everybody probably knows this already. And um, the script itself is on layer two. And what you do is, you know, everything's, you know, you know, covered up right now. Just basically delete the little brackets here, and then you simply just type in a number of what frame you want to go. And then once you uh, publish the movie itself, it will skip to that particular frame. You know what I mean? That way, like I said, that way you don't have to worry about, dang, I gotta watch this whole thing for it to get to a particular frame. Uh, that's not necessary now. So. Uh, also, you know, the timeline itself is going to be organized too. Uh, please don't feel discouraged. This is just this is the way I am. I'm looking. I'm just playing ahead of time for my particular scene itself. Like the, it'll have a whole, you know, mess load of folders and stuff. You know, um, so I have that organized too. Uh, 
when it comes to characters um the characters folder i'm going to have a layer that's going to be particularly for particularly for the uh the, the dialogue itself and what you're going to do is with the dialogue i'm going to have a certain font um i may have uh everybody download if they can because um this is basically the dragon ball z font uh, i may put that in the folder too that way the whole movie is consistent you know as the the font goes along but uh, when it comes to the the dialogue scene guys what i need you to do is i let's say um uh let's see here yeah when it comes to the dialogue scene let's say it's a, just a still thing a still shot what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to leave this streaming what i mean is let me show you real quick the dialogue itself is going to have the graphics, it's going to have the, the profile, everything's going to be on that one scene, and it's going to be the text itself. This is where I need you to type the, the text on also. And then when you insert the scene of that dialogue, put it on the same frame. Like, for example, I don't have a voice file for Frieza in particular, but he says, uh, you saints have no idea what you put me through. And, oh, excuse me. And what it is, is when you put the, the WAV file in that particular frame, let it play through the whole thing that way I can see it visually and it lines up too. And keep this keep the setting as stream. Okay. Um as far as the sound effects go, make that as the event. Keep you can make those events and you know, uh hits and stuff. You're also gonna have a sound effect folder that's just on the top too, so oh, I might put this in the same let's see. Yeah, blah, blah. I might put this in the characters too. If y'all feel like y'all want to change this, you know, that way it's easier for you to animate, feel free to do so. To put the uh, sound effects in the same folder or whatever. Whatever, whatever works for you. Um, also, I don't think I should have a background for me. Well, I might change this up. Like I said, man, guys, this is uh, this is the way I'm going to have set up. Uh, I might change all this, first, so please don't feel uh, discouraged. Um, there's going to be a folder that contains the sound effects too. I mean, not the sound effects, I'm sorry, the special aura effects. Uh, that way everything's, you know, has its own particular layer, layer. Uh, it'll be easy to animate too. Uh, each character, of course, going to have their own layer. Um, what I also like to do when it comes to the characters, guys, I also like having, uh, let's see, oops, I need to make two. Um, what I like to do, guys, sometimes I like to have a, uh, another layer for the characters. And... Please bear with me. I'm all over the place right now. Okay, what I like to do is I like to make this an extra, extra layer. That way, when it comes to a scene, let's say if it's coming to a scene where I'm doing an epic fight and I want a character uh, behind or front of another, I just simply just bar this frame and put that particular character on top. Like, let's say, for example, if I do something like this. Let's give you a quick sample. Uh, let's say if I wanted Goku to be on top, you know, you just simply just drag that particular frame up there. You know, well, you can stretch everything out. Okay. Bring that back, right? Boom. You know what I mean? Well, you see what I mean? And, um,. Yeah, and that one frame at the bottom will be blank, you know, then when I need to switch back and forth, it's almost like a juggling act, you know, that way I have a space gap, gap, gap and that's, that's the way I do it, you know what I mean, like I said, that's why I try to keep everything nice and organized, and you know, that way you know where, what's what, and feel free to label that frame too, like, okay, this top frame is Goku, or whatever character it is, feel free to label it, you know, whatever way, whatever works for you, you know what I mean, but, um, also when it comes down to fight, guys, uh, there's, like I said, I'm not taking anybody's creativity away. I'm not taking anybody's uh, particular style away. But like, uh, don't, don't, please try not to be lazy on this. Um, what I mean by lazy is like, like I said, don't use that five frame fighting style. Um, let me show you, show you what I'm looking for. Please bear with me. I'm just all over the place right now. Let's give you a quick sample of. Um, Uh, let's see. Where is? Okay, I got Vegeta. Oh, okay. Vegeta normal. Okay, here we go. 
Uh, Just a quick sample, guys. Not sure if the frames will work properly, though, but let's see if I can do something real quick for you. And also, when it comes to my scene, guys, I may actually do a live stream on it, you know, to show the making of it. If anybody want like a sneak peek of, you know, and get some inspiration, like, oh shit, you know, part of my language, but like, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, get some inspiration of Dragon Ball Z, Star Rock, and whatnot. All right, I'm um, just doing something real quick, guys. Let you know the particular thing I'm looking for. Uh, you don't have to be exact, but this is this is my style. What I'm going to be doing when it comes down to the fights. Uh, let's see. Just real quick. It's still gonna have that Dragon Ball Z feeling, but you know, like I said, everybody you know has their own style. You know, rock it. You know, go epic, go crazy with it. You know, uh, all right. Got a few frames of Vegeta, and let me do one with Goku real quick. Something simple. Just the phone, the advertising. Don't mind that. Okay. All right. Let's see. And let's get a couple of some Goku. Quick set. Actually, that may work. Let's see. All right. So, just a quick sample, guys. Um type of fight I'm gonna rock with this one. Let's say doo -doo -doo. Let's just watch that. I like working with two frames. It go always change stuff. Let's see. Uh, if y'all hear Book of Life in the background, that's probably what you hear, some voices. So you have Goku kind of attack free. Um, excuse me, uh, Vegeta first. Mm -hmm. Type of idea thing, and. And pardon me guys if my little advertiser at the bottom, I'm not sure if you can see the frames, but you know what, let me uh, do something real quick, pardon that, uh, turn that off for y'all for a second, alright, here we go, um, again, uh, oops, excuse me, um, earlier, you know, I mentioned about the frames, if y'all couldn't see it earlier, but this is what I was talking about, you know, setting up the frames, I mean, the folders for, uh, you know, each scene, you know, let's say the folder says Planet Earth, for example, this one's Planet Kai, I might change that. Um, once you open it up, it's going to contain, you know, each folder will have its own thing. Front ground, which means, 
if you want it, you know, uh, to use it, you know, uh, let's say trees, if they don't, if you're doing a flyby, you know, here's a folder for you to do the front ground, you know, with the trees flying by. Uh, there's a folder that contains, you know, the characters, and there's a folder that contains the background itself. Um, there's a folder that contains the aura, you know, and there's the, gonna be the a layer that contains the, the, the text, you know, and um, the voices of the characters. And it's also gonna be a sound effect for it, which you you know you could work on. But uh, anyway, you can go back to let y'all know what I'm looking for. Let's see, Goku is doing a little elbow here. Then it looks like Vegeta's about to make a move. Let me zoom on this real quick. Uh, and let's see. Might be a little fast pace here. Now let's say if Goku came in for another one, another swing. Swings. Yes, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just a short clip guys, you know, I know hopefully, you know, maybe give you a little pump and, and ready to, you know, begin animating this project. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a little impatient myself too. Once I get my lazy butt um, working again with the, uh, with the story and everything, I hopefully get that done soon so y'all can begin animation soon. Um, why it's gonna take a year or two. Also, I, um, oh, where's my manner? So I forgot to mention, you know, special thanks to uh, Final Vegeta, uh, Final Flash Vegeta for uh, putting together, you know, the first Dragon Ball Z project, um, making it as one movie for me. Thank you for that. Uh, his link may be at the bottom of this video, so show him some love. Um, he's definitely gonna get a copy of this project once this once this is uh, all done and Danny and. You know, uh, my animators and voice actors, music artists, this is, you also, this is your project as well too, so feel free to add this to your website or whatever, do 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 as you feel, you know, share this, share, share with everybody if you feel like it, you know, so this ain't just my project, you guys have a big part in this to make this happen, and um, gonna do what we can to make this a really, really cool sprite animation type of movie if possible um, not sure how long we're gonna make this uh, could be a half an hour or close to 45 minutes depends on my animators actually you know depends on y'all guys like y'all can make a, a a sick you know really good long um, you know and uh, fight scene hey the, the more the better you know I mean go crazy with it you know it'll be even longer for the movie it's like oh you know, cool epic fights and whatnot. I wanna see what y'all what y'all gonna do. Uh, you may not get the character that you want, you know what I mean? You not everybody's gonna animate with uh with um Vegeta and Goku. I know what I'm saying like, oh I can only animate with uh you know with Goku and not everybody's gonna have that, you know. Like like I said he's gonna H D sprites and everybody's gonna have different characters and stuff. You know, so try to get used to working with different sprites. You know, it doesn't matter to me, you know, sprite character is a sprite, it's just about how you go about it, you know what I mean, like, let's see, how you go about, you know, working with the, uh, with the characters. Alright, let's see if this will work, I'm not sure if this will totally work real quick, guys, but, let's see if I can kind of make this happen. Actually, this don't need to be. Let's take this out. I just randomly imported like different scenes in the library, so you know, match up with that one. Let's see. Go cool this. Ooh, how did this became a double? Man, I'm kind of getting excited. I can't wait to, you know, begin this project. Actually, I'm there with y'all. 
you know, I appreciate that, you know, some of you are excited to get this done, you know, got some posts saying, you know, hey, when is this happening, when is the update, uh, you know, when is it going to happen, so this is my way of showing y'all, you know, this is why it's going to take some time to do, and, you know, I'm going to do what I can to make this all happen for us, you know, we actually, we're going to do what we can to make that happen for us, I understand, you know, everybody, Going through some things, you know, I understand that, you know, computer failures and stuff like that. Like I said, um, in my post, if you can't complete your scene, you know, feel free to message me, you know, um, or at, you know, if you have a problem with something, you know, feel free, you know, talk to me. You know, the point of a collab is to work as a team. So, uh, you know, I understand if you can't complete a scene or something happened, you know, it's very understandable. Um, you would still get partial credit for it, you know what I mean? Like, if you can't complete something, pass it along. You know, I would still give you partial credit for it. Like, hey, you know, this person actually started to sing. And, you know, you still get props for it. Alright, let's see. Goku kicks. Then, see? Vegeta comes with it. Then, all of a sudden, Goku seen it for the instant. And let's say, let's see. Actually, no. Don't really need that. Boom. Something like this, guys. So let's see. Uh, hold on. Goku takes a swing. Goku, I mean, Vegeta comes with it. Um, uh, boom. And Goku kind of blocks it with a kick. Just a quick sample. Actually, do it like this. Mm, ba 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 ba. Let's see. Bring the down some. Bring him over here. Goku punches and misses. G looks up. Actually, what if, uh, uh, let's see. I should do it like this, too. Let's say Vegeta stalls a little. Sorry for the sound effect. Vegeta kind of stalls a little. Then if Goku was to come with the kick. Wow. But Vegeta blocks it. And this is why I was talking about with the extra layer. This is just how I like to go about things. Do that. Boom. Sometimes you gotta be careful. You got that frame expands, so you kill that. Boom. Wow. And right here is where I like to expand the frame. And then I'll do like a camera shake here, something like that. You know, let's see. And they slide out frame rate. Let's get that general idea while I'm moving forward. You know what I'm saying like go crazy with it guys think different and think outside had that Dragon Ball Z formula in a way but like in a way kind of think outside the box for it. and this is the particular style I'm gonna do like have them brawling don't be afraid to like animate your butt off you know go crazy with it but this is a quick sample none of this uh like I said don't do that that five frame Animation is like yeah, something like that. There you go. There it is. Exactly what I was talking about. Hold on. Let me see. 
I kind of had that feeling. You know what I mean? Don't do this over and over and that's the whole thing. You could do that for like at least probably 5 to 10 seconds. You know what I mean? But don't let that be the whole movie. This is good for a while. If you're going to do it for like 10, like 10 seconds at least, do something different. You know, kind of like... Let's see. Yeah, like, do something different afterwards. Yeah, I, I'm sure y'all understand what I'm talking about. Like, you know, you see a lot of people just keep repeating this, and that's the whole movie. And they keep repeating the same sound effect. You don't want that. I, I'm not looking for that. So just go crazy with it, and think outside the box, and, you know, have something like Vegeta comes with a hard punch, and then he shoots the Goku far away from the, from the distance, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm really looking for in the anime. It's like I said, is this too much for y'all, you know, to handle or feel overwhelmed? Like, oh, I can't land me all that and you want to back out of the project that's fine you know no hard feelings whatsoever you know um, like I said um, there's not paying project where I feel bad for and I may try to create like a a, a, a a Patriot page or even have a donation button you know that way people could donate to this project and I'm gonna use most of the money to, for the uh, for my animators and uh, voice actors and music artists that most of that money is gonna go towards them Seriously, you know, I'm, I'm willing to help out my animators and stuff because, you know, they going out of their way to try to, you know, and voice actors and, you know, they going out of their way their everyday lives to, you know, help me out on this. You know, we all got lives and things get busy and things happen. So, like I said, you know, um, I'm not holding anybody up against it on this, you know. I mean, you know, towards this, I'm not held, no one's held responsible for any, you know, uh, you know, and complete scenes and stuff like that, or you know, backing out on a project. You know, I understand. Like this is just, you know, a little idea project I have in mind since I saw uh, the Resurrection of Freezer, which I I really enjoyed. You know, I liked the movie. It was, it was pretty cool. You know, I just had a little, you know, a little criticism about it. Like, you know, just spoiler alert if nobody has seen it yet. You know, go see the Resurrection of Freezer before you know anything. But like, um, my criticism is uh, that I felt that. Um, like I said, spoiler alert. spoiler alert. I felt that um, Freezer was beaten too easily, and that's one of the main sub. Um, gonna be one of the uh, main topics on this. Uh, uh, on this, uh, uh, actually, main one of the main contents of this uh, project is that you know uh, Freezer's been beaten too easily, and the direction I'm going with this is the kind of like um, after the movie itself, you know, and like I said, Goku told Frieza, you know, you, you rely on raw power too much. You need to, you need to train. And I'm gonna have a, uh, I'm gonna write that scene too. Frieza's gonna go, and he's gonna train his butt off. He's gonna train so hard, and then he's gonna have a way to uh, get out, of, get out from hell, and come back with revenge. He's gonna be, the Frieza's gonna be no joke on this one, cause you know, once the uh, everybody told him like Frieza, you need to train, you need to train, and then Frieza finally got that concept. And once he got that concept to continue training, he's gonna come back strong. But um, like I said, I'm not. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything for y'all. But I got a little surprise at the end. If this all comes together, I'm gonna try to make this as epic as possible. Like I'm, I'm gonna bring my rawness to this one and try to do my best and you know make this a really good, cool uh, uh, um, Dragon Ball Z's project. And um, same thing goes for uh, the animators that's on this. They may follow the script that I have planned for this, but they also gonna put their flair into this, you know, mad props to them, you know, mad props to them. So this is not just my project, you know, this is uh this is my team project. Also, um um there's a few more characters I'm trying to get and there's still a few characters that's left open for voice actors. Um I'm still looking for Goku, he probably taken by now, I'm not too sure on that, but uh I'm still looking for somebody to play the voice of Goku. Uh, Vegeta's already taken, you know, uh, Beerus is taken. There's a list at the bottom of characters that I have involved in this little sprite animation project. And let you know that um, which characters are open for voice actors. So I'm coming to a close of uh, uh, taking in extra voice actors because I got a lot of talent, really loud of talented voice actors are involved in this already and they may possibly be able to play more than one character you know and actually some of them are you know and they really did a good job I'm telling you it's almost like I hired the voice actors themselves to play these characters you know what I mean so that's why I'm a little picky about uh, um, deciding who's gonna play who in this project I'm looking for those who actually play the characters down to the T 
And I'm kind of looking for that classic, you know, voice of the characters too. Like when Frieza was, you know, in the early episodes, early episodes before Dragon Ball Z Kai came out. I'm um, looking for that original Frieza when he had that that high pitched voice. I can't do Frieza, but when he had that high pitched voice in a way, and, all, and you know, and I believe it was a woman that played the voice. I, I could be wrong on that. I think he did. I think you know it was a woman that played the voice. Uh, I gotta do my you know research of who played who in Dragon Ball Z. Very good. I'm very bad with uh, you know names and stuff. So, boo. <laughs> but anyway, I, yeah. Um, I also have uh. uh Oh, um, something just came to my attention not too long ago. I was talking to one of my voice actors, and she's playing the voice of uh, a lot of characters that's going to be involved in it. I, I kid you not, guys. She is amazing. You know, I'm not knocking, you know, down any of my, rest of, um, my other voice actors, but uh, there's one particular cat, um, voice actor. She's really amazing. You know, a shout out to everybody. You know, Cuban Shot, uh, Sailor, Silver Star, Lissus, uh, uh, Ganey, and, um, you know, uh, less is more, you know, it's shock bingo, you know, sorry if I miss a, you know, everybody, but like I said, I'm gonna have a list of everybody, keep a spell, um, and somebody, somebody else that got on board too, like I said, these are new people I just got, um, actually came on board on this project not too long ago, um, so, so, sorry if I can't, I haven't mentioned your name on this, but, you know, the names is on the list and everything, but, uh, there's one particular voice actor, she's really, really, really good, she kind of surprised me with, uh, the characters, the amount of characters she's going to be playing, and how well she did. She also did a um, 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 voice for uh, Harley Quinn on my um, uh, Jungle Hunt project. So she's she's she, she's nice, you know. I'm, like I said, I'm not knocking anybody down, but she's she's nice with her. You know, more, you know. Thank you for you know uh, playing a part in this. I understand, you know. Things happen and everything, but you know, best of luck to you. Hope you hope for the best. And like I said, with um, for those my voice actors who's uh, playing more than one character, I will send you all the lines at once and try to get that done. Cause that way you can just have it out in one shot. You know, say the back and forth thing. Um, again, guys, this is gonna take some time for me to do. Cause like, like I said, I'm still putting the files together, the backgrounds and everything. That way, my animators don't have to do all that. You know the I'm doing all that the, all that hard work for them. That way they could just go to the library and just boom, 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 and work from there. Because this is going to take time. It's going to take time. That's why I said it's going to take like a year or two to even complete. Um, a year already passed since the first announcement about this project. So so, so see right there, you know, the year already passed since the first uh, announcement on this. And like I said, I thank uh, um, Final Flash Vegeta for uh, putting the word out there for me. So, you know, much love. This might be on his channel too. He's welcome to put this on his channel to, you know, let those know this is why, this is why this project is going to take time. You know, and this is one of the biggest projects I ever put together. So, um, I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, um, the specs is going to be 30 frames per second, guys. Uh, the size is going to be uh, 720 by. Uh, um, 400 height and width, you know, everything's going to be uh, separate. And, um, if you're a new member, um, also a, a new, yeah, a new member, a new animator, voice actor, please go to newgrounds.com and sign up for an account. Um, if you want to take part in this project, and you can message me the uh, a sample of the characters that is left I have on uh, display at the bottom. So if you want to try out, like, hey, I could do this character and send me a sample of it, you know, your grunts and all that, you know, and if I like what I hear, you are on the team. So, like I said, I'm trying to push people to get a newgrounds.com account because this is where, that's where the building block of the project will be held at. It helps me keep track of who's playing who. Um, hey, if I could trade, well, um, that's where the files can be traded in. Um, you know, pass along to different animators and stuff like that. Everything could be, you know, built in on the Newgrounds. So, that's where it needs to be. Um, that's why I recommend people who need to uh, set, set up an account for it. Um, let's see, let me check my notes, see if I miss anything. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty much about it, everybody. Like I said, um, once I get everything together, a scene, if I have a complete scene, I will pass it to the animator. So please, you know, don't, don't stop anything. Don't wait for me to, you know, uh, um, to begin this, you know, it, it's, like I said, you can jump on this anytime you want. There's no deadline as of now. I still have a lot of writing to do, and like I said, I still need to pass the file, the lines down to the um, voice actors. It's best to have everything collected before anything. 
because once it's um once everything is all you know sort in order and everything it'll it'll come together lovely everything will be you know a lot smoother um yeah you could uh publish in flash you know you don't have to worry about the music files but if you have something that you know you want to just test out the movie yourself feel free to do so you know um i already have music ready for this project but if you got something in there put it in there and now you know just to test out the movie itself you know uh let's see if i miss anything um yeah voice actors yeah once i get all this written out uh, i will pass you all the lines i need for the characters and if there's extra characters at the bottom of this list you think you could also play as you know feel free to send me a sample or something you know and uh, i'll take a listen and we'll, we'll go from there uh let's see what else am i missing um i guess that's pretty much it guys you know this is just, i didn't expect this video to go this long i know sorry if i'm ranting but this is why um the reason why this project is going to take some time because we're going to do what we can to make it happen uh and i'm going to show you real quick all the characters i have so far you know it's going to be a lot of characters you know some of them ain't going to have voices i'm not too sure about kid boo I have an idea how Kid Boo is gonna come back, but I'm not 100% sure on this. You know, most of the bad guys is gonna be in hell anyway, cause they're gonna be the ones training for Frieza. Also, got Mr. Satan in here. You know, basically most of the characters that's in Dragon Ball Super right now, I'm looking for to to write in on this um in the Sprite Animation project. So, like I said, I'm, I'm collecting everybody. This is it's, it's a lot. You know, I ain't gonna front school. It's gonna be a lot. So. It's gonna be one of the biggest projects. Hopefully, um, you know, hopefully everybody will enjoy it if it all comes together. And if I can't complete it, you know, worst come to worst, like I said, I'm gonna try to give you a low version of this project. I might just have to give you my scene or somebody else's scene, and cut a lot out. You know, hopefully I won't have to come to that. You know, we're gonna do what we can, and uh, like I said, uh, I'm gonna have a donation button. You know, hopefully by now. You know, and then uh, I could set up a picture page if that's. A Patreon page if that's possible, you know, we appreciate it if anybody could donate something to this, you know, because I'm, I want to give my, uh, my, my team members a little something for helping me out on this, you know, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, like, you know, hopefully, you know, this, we can work this out and, you know, put this, make this project happen, Dragon Ball Z, Freezer Wish, coming soon, guys. Hopefully, I ain't missed anything. But if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Let me know what's up. And like I said, um, my fellow team members, thank you for helping me out on this project. If this is going to happen, I really appreciate it. Um, and this is why it's taking me some time to taking some time for this to do because I'm putting everything together for y'all. And I want y'all job to be as easy as possible. You know, that way nobody's feeling overwhelmed. With, um, you know, working on it. So don't stop anything. If you got a project going on, go ahead. Feel free. You know, like I said, I'm not. I don't want to take nothing away from anybody. Everybody got their own lives and you know, do their thing. So once I get everything together, guys, um, I'll let you know. You know, I'll message everyone like, hey, okay, if y'all ready to start animating, you know, feel free. Here's all the lines and stuff like that. I will ask all my animators who wish to animate uh, a certain scene. You know, if you're down for it, you think you can handle it cool you know go for it if it needs to be broken up to uh two parts it, some animators you may work on two parts so like oh uh, i'm sorry not two parts uh the same scene as another animator you know what i mean like uh let's say somebody has planet earth and another animator has planet earth but this is a two different parts of uh two different scenes on that particular planet um also um oh well uh, before i close everything up let me let you know um, what may happen on this project. Um, you probably saw it on the video, like the uh, uh, reason why for Frieza's wish, uh, Frieza didn't get a chance to get his actual wish, but this time he's, he's, he's gonna get one. He's gonna get a wish on this one. And it's gonna be difficult for him to get it because I'm bringing a new concept to the, the whole dragon summoning thing. So I'm gonna bring out a, a god dragon. And uh, uh, yeah, you heard it first, um, here first folks, you know, um, I, I'm, it's gonna be a little secret behind the, uh, the Dragon Balls, and what they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to get the collection of uh, the Earth Dragon Balls together, um, the Planet Namek Dragon Balls together, and even the, uh, the Black Star Dragon Balls together from GT. I'm taking that concept too, and once they have all those Dragon Balls in one place, 
um, the secret behind it is uh, there's a god dragon. You know, there's a new dragon I'm going to try to, I'm going to represent in this. So, um, Freeze is going to get that wish to come back and he's, he's going to be powerful. And this is going to be a big challenge for Goku and Vegeta. Like I said, I don't want to spoil it for y'all too much, but this is going to be, uh, I'm going to do my best to make this a, a good, good, epic Dragon Ball, like edgy C type of thing. So, don't want to hype nobody up too much, but, um, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, wish us the best. You know, like I said, if you uh, anything, you might have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll do what I can to answer it and get back to you. So, uh, hopefully we can um, get started on this project. There's so much that's going on right now, so it's going to take some time to do. And now y'all see why this project is going to take time to do. So, that is all for now, folks. Um, Mr. Skills, and look out for the upcoming Sprite Animation Project, Freezer's Wish. Take care.